And here in Lagos, the state government has reiterated its commitment in making the state a preferred destination for tourism, leisure, and business in Africa. That's according to the State Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Uzamat Akimbike Yusuf. She spoke at the groundbreaking ceremony of Lagos Cultural Village in Alimosho area of the state. The project is expected to provide employment to residents of the area upon completion. The groundbreaking, and when we are saying village, Lagos Cultural Village, is to bring back the culture of the Yoruba race, is to bring back the kind of person we have, how we live our life in the old days, and how we can now generate employment opportunity around the way we've been living in the past, how we can generate wealth for our people the way we live in the past. These are the things that Lagos State Government is putting together in this Lagos Cultural Village. And by the special grace of God, the direct job that will be created when this place is completed will not be less than 1,000. An indirect job will be uncountable. This is an historical town, highly very historical. There is no difference between this very place and Cuba. And we thank our governor seriously for his interest in this very place. When this project is completed, the land here will be more valuable, more than what you find at Atlantic Ocean, because our land here is okay. I was staying in Lagos where more than 600 youths will be trained in filmmaking by the state government. This move forms part of its partnership with the African Film Academy. This is an initiative aims at training youths who are ready to be great filmmakers in the future. TV News correspondent Theophilus Elama reports. Nigeria's film industry, popularly known as Nollywood, is said to be one of the highest employers of labor in the country. To further sustain its legacies, movie practitioners regularly engage youths in different fields in the sector, giving them platforms to excel. To further boost their chances of becoming better movie practitioners, the Lagos State Government is now partnering the Africa Film Academy to train youths in various areas in the state. With this phase now, we'll be training 600 youth in three different locations, Alimosho, Badagri and Epe. And this particular one is not just to upskill the challenge, but to hunt for the challenge, people that has the passion for this filmmaking industry. It's to have a proper um, hands-on training, on-field training, which is what Film in a Box is, and which we've been using to train for the last 19 years, um, basically going on the field, it's, it's more teamwork and engaging directly with raw talent and jump-starting them in a career path. Veteran filmmakers believe the trainings will afford budding talent the opportunity to leverage on their experiences to help them grow. The first advantage this program is offering is people to come in and have free training. Um, uh, at the end of the day, there's going to be a pilot process, uh, so we're going to make films with the best in each of the categories of the areas identified for capacity building. And uh, after that, hopefully, hopefully they will grow. We're giving you an opportunity to come out, come and show us what you have. Let's fine tune it for you. Let's rub some cream, let's smoothen it, let's sharpen it for you and give you an opportunity to come out there. Those are the things that we know a lot of youths need right now. The training is expected to run for three months with the government admonishing youths to take advantage of this opportunity to create a means for themselves. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News.